G'day everyone, Ali here. Well, I just wanted to jump on and just have a chat about online shopping hauls. So we all do them, um, whether they're online shopping hauls, whether uh, we've got shopping hauls from craft stores. But today I'm doing a little bit of a different shopping haul. So I'm doing a charity shop shopping haul and what I found yesterday. So don't discard the charity shops, uh, they really really have got some good stuff. Uh, so the charity shops uh, are the ones that we donate stuff to and then they on sell them to people you know that want them uh, and the money normally goes to people in need so whatever um, the organisation is assisting community um, with. So this is a charity shopping haul. Now I went to Lifeline yesterday which was a really big Lifeline shop down here on the Gold Coast and I just wanted to show you what sort of items you can pick up. So first of all I picked up a ball of, I don't know what it is, it's probably uh, crochet yarn but it is, uh, it's like a bit of a black and silver thread through it so I thought that would be really good on a card to add or you could use it to a mixed media piece so that one was a dollar got that for a dollar so that was a really good um, find um, and a lot of these things I found in where the Manchester um, is kept Okay, so ribbons, wool, curtains, tablecloths, that sort of stuff. I also picked up a bag of ribbon. Now this was $2 and I just wanted to show you the stuff that I got. So I've got some really nice gold sheer ribbon and this look probably about a metre of each I'd say. So I've got some nice blue one and it's a nice thicker wider ribbon as well so this is really pretty this so it could be the end of remnants in um, a department store I don't know where it actually came from but I thought you know what uh, I love sometimes putting ribbons on my cards so a nice um, grape color Another gold piece there that could be used. Uh, and this ribbon here, it's got the wire in it. So this is the one that you can manipulate uh, also. So uh, you can use it for crafting projects. So that was a nice Christmas ribbon. Another one here with wire in that you can manipulate with uh, gold. And also the green as well so really really pretty um, <laughs> I even got a little uh, reindeer metal embellishment <laughs> so really cute so pop that in and I also got some elastic I don't know if I'd use it or not but you just never know okay I got that I also came across some wooden Kayser craft products now this one here is let's see it's a gift album this one now it was $4.99 now it looks like a really old sticker I don't know how long ago that was uh, but I got it for $2 I thought that would be um, a good thing I can just pop it in my stash so when I feel like that I want to do something a bit different I've got this here it's that one uh, I also came across some gingerbread men so once again $4.99 and I got this one for $3 uh, and it's a set of five and I thought that would be really good to do something at Christmas with. I got those and I also got this which I thought was a real good bargain. This is Kayser Craft, unopened all of these by the way and I got this for $3. Now this is an album. It's uh, for someone that's turning 60 comes with the 60 numbers and it also comes with two chipboard pages so what you do is you would decorate them and they get joined with the Kayser Craft rings these types of rings here you can use if I can get them open <laughs> so these ones here 
uh, which I had in my stash anyway. So everyone um, can sign it um, for that special somebody. So I thought that was really, really good. So I picked that up for $3. Uh, I also picked up some burlap. So I had some burlap rolls here and there's about, I would say, two metres on each one by the looks of it. Probably even a little bit more, I'd say. But they were $2 each. I also came across some stickers as well. They're both unopened and they both were a dollar. So I got this one, this is 3D paper stickers, uh, a 10 pack, so I thought that'd be uh, fun to do. And also these silver stickers, which is a thank you. So I thought they were quite good uh, to have in the stash as well. So I've got those. Uh, also got a packet of sequence mix. Now this sequence mix is got everything from flowers to leaves to stars. Uh, there's even a kangaroo in there. Uh, there's a little cupid in there. So it is just really a bit of a mixed bag of sequence so really good for shaker cards and all that so I thought yep I'll pick up uh, that for a dollar and the last thing that I purchased was this wooden kids jigsaw puzzle uh, on YouTube there's quite a few jigsaw projects where people actually decorate jigsaw pieces I saw this and thought yep I'm want to really have a go at that and for two dollars I'm just going to put it in my stash until I'm ready to use it. I will do that at some stage. Like I said don't um, disregard the charity shops um, like they have heaps of wool as well, uh, crocheted cotton as well uh, and I have used, like I have a ball of just white crocheted cotton that I actually colour myself to the colour that I want using either Distress inks um, or ink refills. There's heaps of things that you can buy to keep the cost of crafting down because let's face it, crafting is an expensive hobby. <laughs> I hope you've gotten uh, something out of this uh, and yeah, why not go and visit your, ne you know, your charity shop next time instead of going to the craft shop. Just have a poke around as well. So it was quite fun yesterday. Until next time everybody, happy crafting. See ya!